Hello everybody, this is Faethodas. Today we are going to talk about a build I have been trying to create the last few days. It is a mage build and the main damage uh, dealing element of this build is lightning. So, the build is called the Oracle of Zeus. The reason behind the name of the build goes like this. This build consists of two masteries, Storm and Spirit Mastery. The class that comes from the combination of these two masteries is called Oracle. So this build uses the Oracle class of the game. Also, this build uses the element of lightning to destroy enemies. And as you all may know, Zeus is the god of lightning. So this build uses the power of Zeus and the class of Oracle. That's the name, the Oracle of Zeus. So, now let's see how this build works. We will start with the skills first. First in Storm Mastery. In this mastery we care about only four skills. Three of those skills are damage dealers or uh, damage boosters and one is a summon skill. The skills of choice are Static Charge. This is a passive skill, but it boosts our lightning damage pretty much and it is a must-have skill if we want to become powerful. To use this skill, first we need to activate two more skills because this one is the third in a series of skills. So we put only one skill point to the Storm Nibus skill at one point to the Heart of Frost skill. To gain the boost from this skill, we need to have always active the Storm Nibus skill. Second skill, Summon Wisp. This is a pet skill. We summon this Wisp and we use this pet only to distract enemies from hitting us. Only to keep enemies busy so we can do our job without much pain. For this reason, we put only one skill point to this pet and that's it. Later, if we max out all our more important skills and we have some skill points left, we can upgrade the skill so it deals more damage as well. Third skill, Lightning Bolt. This is the power of Zeus itself coming down to the heads of our enemies and crushing them. We need to max out this skill, so we put 12 skill points and we are done. Fourth skill, Chain Lightning. This is a passive skill which works every time we use the Lightning Bolt skill. This skill hits additional targets with lightning damage it is a very powerful and useful skill, of course. Now, let's see the Spirit Mastery. In this mastery, we get our primary skill attack for this build. Also, we get a pet which deals damage and some passive skills including an aura. Let's see the skills one by one. First, Summon Lich King. This is our basic pet, we summon this pet and it helps killing enemies and keeping them busy. Of course, we want to make this pet as powerful as it can be, so we are using all three of the passive skills that are tied to this skill. Second skill, Death Chill Aura. This skill is very useful when enemies are in the radius of this aura. They are getting weaker and it is easier for us to kill them. We use this skill to the maximum and also we max out the two passive skills that our tide is tied to this one. Uh, Ravages of Time and Necrosis. Third skill is Death Ward. This is a passive skill which will help us <coughs> sorry. Will help us to stay alive a bit longer when we are going to die. <clears throat> so we get another chance escaping death. This skill should get maxed out later in the game. 
It is not important for the two first difficulty levels of the game, it might be needed for the legendary difficulty. Fourth skill is Circle of Power. This is a very... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, let me drink uh, some water, please. <sighs> this is a very good skill. It summons a totem, which helps us stay alive, deal more damage, and it works well with the Necrosy skill. Just think about it. The Necrosy skill deals minus 81% life leech resistance and minus 81% vitality damage resistance to the monsters, while the Circle of Power at level 1 deals plus 100% vitality damage and plus 100% life leech to the enemies. Skill number 5. Turn on attack. This is the most important skill of this build. While you, we use this skill, we throw 3 projectiles against our enemies by using our staff weapon. This skill works only with staves. We max out this skill as soon as we can. It is our priority to max it out as fast as possible. After we max out the skill, we try to max out the passive skill that is tied to it, the Arcane Lore skill. This passive skill will boost the speed of our projectiles by 50%, which is very important to the performance of Ternion attack. Now let's talk about the equipment. When it comes to weapons, the only choice there is for this build is a staff which deals the lightning damage. There are three types of elemental damage for staves in the game. Uh, fire damage called it lightning damage. We need one staff with lightning damage. Also, let's not forget that turn on attack skill is working only with staves and it is the primary skill of this build. There are many staves in the game, as we progress through the game, we use the best stuff possible from those we have found up to that time. Our ultimate goal for a staff is to fight a legendary staff, which will have stats that could contribute to our build in things where the other pieces of equipment we have could not. About armor now... Uh, this build is using the Archmage's Regalia set. This set will give us a bit of everything our mage would need to become a good killing machine. The most important things we get from the items of this set is the minus 48% recharge uh, to skill cooldowns, the boost to elemental damage and the high casting speed. This set is a legendary set, so it is not easy to be found. Uh, I'm also currently missing the headpiece of this set. Also, this set has four pieces, a chest piece, head piece, hands and legs a piece of armor. Uh, for jewels and artifacts there are many choices. What we need mostly is items that uh, give us boost to lightning damage, resistances of all types if possible, high attack at casting speed, and of course movement speed uh, bonus. Uh, the rings I currently use is the Bad of Domination, which is a level 27 ring. This ring has elemental resistance, offensive and defensive ability, and attack speed. And I am also using the Ring of Gaia, level 36, which has elemental resistance, intelligence bonus, health at energy, energy regeneration, and a bonus to health points. My amulet is called Polaris. It is a level 36 item, and the most important attributes of this amulet is the minus 14% uh, recharge to skill cooldowns and the minus 15 energy cost. 
By using this amulet and the Archmage's clasp set item together, we get minus 65% recharge to skill cooldowns, which makes the combination of these two items unbeatable. Unbeatable! So, with minus 62% recharge, the cooldown of our Lightning Bolt skill drops to 4.6 seconds. If we don't use any cooldown reduction, uh, this skill has a 12 seconds recharge to cooldowns. So you get the picture of how powerful uh, this combination really is. And now for the finale, I also use the scroll of the sky's rage for this build. This scroll drops lightning bolts to enemies and deals good damage and also stuns them. So it is the absolute scroll for this build to have. After all we get to be the oracle of Zeus. Thank you all for watching this video, share, like and subscribe if you like what you see. And from here on you can watch this build how it works against the big boss Typhoon on epic difficulty at level 52. My hero now is level 52. If you have any questions please write a comment and I will reply as soon as possible. Have fun!
Hail, mighty hero. I am Zeus, king of the Olympian gods. We are eternally thankful for your aid in stopping Typhon. No one would have ever thought that a human could defeat a titan. The epic heroes would kneel before you, and perhaps they shall. The conduit between our realms was destroyed. You have proven that men are ready to become the masters of their own fates. Your mortal world is not yet safe, but the responsibility now is yours. Go, great 